As for the rat in the echoey cave, he shouted and wandered till he found his way out of the darkness on the other side of the hill. of his kids and his stick lady love. suddenly wakes. What's that noise up above? It starts as a chuckle, then turns to a shout. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Get me out. A stuck man? A stuck man. Now, who could that be? Don't worry, cries Stickman. I'll soon set you free. <laughs> a foot. A shove and a nudge, a hop and a jump. And Santa falls into the room with a thump. Man, you excellent friend. Thanks. Thanks a million. Thanks without end. <laughs> hmm. 
into the sky. in the rubbish dump. Somewhere underground, there comes a distant rumbling sound. Then he breathed out lots of flames until the fire burned bright and good. Thank you, noble dragon. I'm feeling nice and warm. <sighs> Then the team of flying doctors sped away into the storm. they saw a great big palace down below. My uncle's house, said Princess Pearl. <laughs> Let's go and say hello. <laughs> Bang, crash, thump. They landed. didn't say hello. <laughs> Instead, he said, You naughty thing! Where have you been? He thundered. You look an awful mess. 
What's happened to your crown? And where's your pretty frilly dress? <laughs> but, Uncle, can't you see that I'm a doctor now? Said Pearl. The king replied, Princesses can't be doctors, silly girl. <laughs> Seize her. Don't let go of her. Now, lock her up inside. <laughs> called Princess Pearl. She stamped and stormed and cried. <laughs> Time went by, and Princess Pearl spent many weary hours sewing pretty cushions and arranging pretty flowers. <clears throat> I'm not scared, <laughs> said the Gruffalo's child. Flew the creature. His tail is short, and he doesn't have whiskers of any sort. You're not the mouse. Not I. He's somewhere nearby, eating gruffalo pie. <gasps> oh. 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 Shouting. 
as the whale and the snail travel safely away. to the dock and the flock on the rock. <laughs> Who said? How oh, time's flown. And haven't you grown? Then the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale. Of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. <laughs> and of how the snail, so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, saved the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail. 